Hello everybody, this is Rudra Pradhan here. Welcome to BMD lecture series and today we will continue with the predictive analytics and that to coverage on data mining. In fact, uh, this particular you know technique or you know this particular you know tool is very you know vast and uh, very useful for business problems where you know we have lots of complexity and the kind of you know dynamics and uh, with the help of this particular technique again we like to understand the particular you know data structure and then create a kind of you know environment through which uh, we can do better predictions and better forecastings. In fact, in the data mining we have a couple of you know items through which you can actually analyze the a kind of you know problems and then come out with a kind of you know solution through which the particular you know decision will be very effective. In the data mining, so the typical discussion will be the scope of you know data mining, then we will go for you know data explorations and data reductions and again so classification and the classification techniques. So, it is with respect to association rule mining and cause and effect modeling. In fact, uh, we have already discussed couple of you know predictive analytics starting with you know, simple regressions that you know association, classification, cause and effect modeling in the context of you know, uh, uh, you know regression modeling. So, that means you know altogether we have already discussed you know certain you know techniques in the predictive analytics which are actually part of this particular you know data mining process. But uh, here one thing we like to you know give high trace on the kind of you know cluster analysis again this is a kind of you know classification. In fact, we have already discussed so many classification techniques like you know random forest and support vector machines and here we have a kind of you know uh, beautiful classification structure through cluster analysis and, uh, and for you know for this kind of you know environment means business environment the this particular classification technique can give you you know better kind of you know inference through which you can understand the problem more accurately and then we will create a kind of you know structure through which you do the prediction and the kind of you know forecastings. So, uh, typically we start with you know what is exactly the data mining and then we will connect with some of the techniques through which you can actually understand the kind of you know data structure and then analyze the problem as per the particular you know management requirement. So, uh, what I have mentioned already, so it is a kind of you know uh, beautiful technique through which you know business analytics can be uh, you know focus through which to understand the particular you know business problems as per the uh, you know big data set and the kind of you know complex number of you know means the multi mul multiple number of variables through which you can uh, you know analyze the uh, particular you know problem. Uh, it is used to identify and understand the kind of you know uh, hidden insights through in the data and the kind of you know uh, the kind of you know variables which you have identified and then we develop a kind of you know setup and the structure through which you do the you know kind of you know prediction. It is actually more or less same like you know neural network structure, random forest and support vector machines or any kind of you know regression kind of you know techniques that means actually the fact is that you know we have a large data and that too with a more number of variables and uh, in one instance we have a kind of you know structure then uh, using the data we like to just test and verify and find out the particular you know modeling setup through which you can do better prediction and better forecasting for the future. And in another environment sometimes we do not find uh, any kind of you know uh, insights you know inbuilt insights initially and through which you can uh, uh, just verify and then uh, develop a kind of you know setup through which you do the prediction. But uh, in the second case typically the uh, the structure is to uh, develop a kind of you know system and uh, you know setup through which we have to again train then you know verify then you know test and finally, do the kind of you know prediction and forecasting as per the particular you know requirement. And uh, cluster analysis and that to data mine uh, in, in, in general data mining process is like that you know to understand the particular you know data set and the understand the particular you know problem with respect to uh, more number of variables and the kind of you know dynamics and then uh, develop a kind of you know system and structure through which you can actually uh, go for you know better predictions, better you know forecastings as per the 
particular you know management requirement or you know pro, uh, problem requirement. So, it also involves both descriptive and you know prescriptive analytics that means, the things which you are discussing right now is a kind of you know predictive analytic structure, but uh, you know uh, 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 what I mentioned earlier that you know uh, all analytics are you know very closely connected and in fact, we still we are you know discussing predictive analytics, but we need actually descriptive structure and predictive structure that means, the previous uh, the previous kind of you know, setup and the kind of you know, future setups through which actually we can analyze the problem more accurately um, you know uh, you know as per the particular you know requirement and the kind of you know best man uh, you know management uh, you know needs. So, likewise, so we have actually kind of you know system and so far as you know scope is concerned that twin in, uh, in the data mining. So, what I have already mentioned, so we can actually go for you know data exploration that means, more visualize and more insights to you know uh, in the data and sometimes we will go for you know data reduction process. In fact, uh, there is a kind of you know technique called as you know factor analysis through which you know the large set of you know variables can be uh, transport uh, into uh, a kind of you know pools through which you can actually have a better cluster and better structures uh, to understand the problems and to Oh, you know go for the kind of you know predictions, but uh, uh, in this particular lectures we typically go for you know cluster analysis to you know with a particular you know setup we develop a kind of you know cluster to understand more accurately the data more accurately the problem and then the kind of you know pro prediction requirement. So, we have a uh, you know data exploration, data reductions, data classifications, then association, cause and effect modeling. More or less, we have already you know uh, you know uh, we have already covered all these things you know uh, little bit you know high and low depending upon a kind of you know items which we have discussed earlier. And in this uh, case, just you know uh, we connect since we are discussing actually classification clusters uh, you know uh, in this particular you know unit the starting with you know neural network then you know random forest support vector machines. So, in the similar clusters, we are just connecting you know a technique called as you know cluster analysis, then we like to know how the problems can be analyzed more accurately more you know in a interesting way by it developing a system and developing a kind of you know classification through which you can understand the uh, you know issue more accurately and then go for the kind of you know management requirement. And uh, in fact, in the in the kind of you know classification techniques. Uh, particularly, uh, the things are you know well connected with you know cluster analysis, discriminant analysis, and you know uh, logistic kind of you know regressions. So uh, means the problem which we have already discussed here, you know uh, exploration, classification. That means see here, so we what we have actually here. So this is actually one kind of you know uh, package, uh, uh, the kind of you know so data exploration and data reductions, then the classification, association, cause. So these are actually lots of you know tool, uh, tools are there. Lots of tools are here also. Lots of tools are here also. Lots of tools are here also. So uh, technically, these are all the base through which actually to uh, visualize the data, understand the data, get insights from the data. Uh, uh, then you uh, you know understand the problems and then uh, develop a system and structures or develop the kind of you know, algorithms through which actually you can predict the environment uh, as per the particular requirement and then the decision by default will be very effective. So, uh, you know comparing this kind of you know structures you know uh, if you uh, go a little bit you know more. So, then you will get to know uh, the, that you know in the kind of you know, uh, classi classification structure and the uh, counterparts. So, what we have actually you know uh, you know connecting here the cluster analysis, discriminant analysis, logistic re regression. So, that means, these are the items where actually a you know means these items can be actually connected and they are uh, in fact in a kind of you know similar kind of you know uh, cl uh, techniques pools or you know uh, techniques basket where we have a kind of you know problems where more number of variables are they are having more number of data and within the more number of variables we have some kind of you know quantitative variables some kind of you know qualitative variables and then how we can actually recognize this particular you know problems depending upon a particular you know response variable whether it is you know qualitative in nature whether it is in a kind of you know quantitative in nature then and develop this system through which you will do the predictions as per the particular you know problem requirement 
and in this context you know cluster analysis discrimination analysis and logistic analysis uh, anal, uh, you know logistic regressions are you know in a kind of you know more highlighted pictures right and in fact uh, 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 in the previous kind of you know lectures we have already connected or we have already discussed the kind of you know discriminate analysis logistic regressions in fact in the uh, you know uh, that is called as a qualitative response regression modeling in fact we have discussed binary choice models that is the linear probability model which is actually more or less similar to the kind of you know discriminate analysis then we have all we have discussed logistic regressions followed by uh, logistic functions then similar to we have discussed actually the kind of you know uh, 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 normal distribution followed by normal distribution that is probit model and uh, again uh, you know uh, in the similar uh, scenario we are actually now highlighting the kind of you know, st con you know uh, structure called as you know cluster analysis this is again the kind of you know, classification structure and through which we will analyze the understand the problem and analyze the problem as per the particular requirement uh, uh, here the means these are the items or these are the techniques predictive analytics tools or techniques where uh, some of the variables uh, you know uh, you know will be a kind of you know qualitative and uh, maybe binary in structure or categorical in structure then depending upon the kind of you know in data set and the kind of you know variables so you first you know check the kind of you know structure then you can pick up a particular technique through which you can understand the data visualize the data properly then you know maybe go for you know some kind of you know reduction mechanism and then a built a kind of you know system through which you can do the better kind of you know prediction better you know kind of you know setup through which you we can actually analyze the problem and come with you know effective management decision and uh, in fact uh, since our highlights of this particular you know lectures though we have already discussed discriminant analysis logistic structure that is the qualitative response modeling and in this case we typically you know highlight or you know gives high trace on uh, cluster analysis uh, uh, when we talk about the cluster analysis that means with a kind of you know large variables and large data set we like to uh, prepare a kind of you know cluster uh, where you know we can bring the kind of you know uh, you know kind of you know link or you know structure where it is a kind of you know homogeneous homogeneous kind of you know setups through which you can do the better prediction and the kind of you know be better forecasting and in fact uh, in the uh, uh, in the kind of you know uh, uh, you know classification structure that to the particular you know uh, kind of you know structure called as you know cluster analysis so here uh, we have a two different uh, mechanisms through which you can anal understand this uh, particular you know uh, you know uh, predictive analytics tools and then connect to uh, problems uh, and uh, check how it is very effective for the management requirement or you know business requirement so there are two uh, you know two different structure through which you know we will do the clustering and uh, one is called as a hierarchical, hierarchical clustering and then k means clustering and uh, in the hierarchical clustering so we have a two different methods altogether so agglomerative methods and uh, divisive methods through which you can do the kind of you know structuring and then we will un understand the system and then we find out a kind of you know setup through which you will do the predictions. So, what I will do? So, I will give you a little bit you know exposure about the hierarchical clustering and k-means clustering and then we pick up a kind of you know problem then we connect with the body techniques and then we see how this uh, you know this particular technique can be very effective to understand the data understand the kind of you know problems and then come with a kind of you know structure where we can do the effective prediction and effective kind of you know uh, uh, forecasting uh, as per the particular you know uh, management requirement and the kind of you know business requirement so let's come with you know first the kind of you know clustering with you know uh, the kind of you know structure which we call as you know hierarchical clustering and in the hierarchical clustering particularly what we have mentioned earlier so we have two different uh, uh, setups altogether agglomeratives uh, uh, and uh, divisive and in the case of you know of first methods so there are two uh, two items through which we can analyze and to understand the system that's called as you know dendrogram and then uh, euclidean distance and it is a kind of you know uh, a uh, you know graphical visualization through which you can uh, understand the particular you know structure and then do the setups for the prediction and forecasting so this is what the euclidean distance and uh, uh, in fact uh, it's all actually what we can say that you know 
it's a, it's a kind of you know uh, mathematics through which you can understand the particular you know structure and uh, this is what the euclidean distance and uh, uh, this this is what the particular you know structure and uh, 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 i will let you know the dendrogram structure through which again you can analyze or you can understand the particular you know structure so this is what you know simply you know uh, uh, through mathematics we can understand the euclidean distance and then uh, we use this particular you know structure through which you can do the better clustering to understand the problems and the develop the setups for you know future prediction and future forecasting so uh, accordingly so what i uh, what I'll, I'll take you to the particular you know structure to understand how it is actually effective as per the particular you know requirement in the clustering uh, you know in the cluster analysis particularly this particular method so we have a single linkage clustering complete linkage clustering average linkage clustering so like you know we uh, you know hierarchical clustering so we have a different kind of you know uh, you know uh, models through which you can understand the uh, data or understand the insights from the data understand the problems then develop the structure through which the management the problem can be analyzed more accurately as per the management requirement or the kind of you know business requirement so in any case it's a kind of you know different means it's a having a flexibility systems within a particular technique we have a lots of flexibility to oh, you know analyze the data or you know get the insights or explore the insight uh, best insights as per the particular you know prediction requirement and the kind of you know management requirement so accordingly so let's start with the simple examples and let's say this is a kind of you know college and university data and we like to classify the college and university with respect to several you know uh, attributes uh, in this particular you know examples we have here uh, schools and then you know different types of you know uh, schools and colleges and then we have a different you know attributes like you know median score acceptance rate expenditure students or oh, this particular problem we have high, uh, you know we have already discussed with a different you know technique contest and you know problem contest but same problem we are now putting here in the clustering analysis now uh, uh, here idea is, uh, is is that that you know with respect to all these attributes we have to de define you know different clusters then you know means what is the management requirement that you know once you develop different clusters as per the particular you know requirement then the policy structure the strategy structure will be accordingly you know uh, different and as a result the uh, all in the uh, entire management system will be very effective and uh, you know efficient uh, uh, you know if you de de develop you know different clusters and then plan uh, you know uh, you know uh, plan accordingly for a particular you know clusters instead of you know thinking about to or planning something in a kind of you know, aggregate label so in that context cluster analysis and the data mining package will be very effective for the management requirement and for the kind of you know management decisions so likewise we have actually so let us see here uh, so this is what the problem and then then what will you go, uh, do so if, if you if you analyze so this is what the dendrograms the, the, the dendrogram uh, structure will be like it's a like you know uh, decent tree structures like you what we have already discussed in the case of you know uh, random forest and uh, uh, through which you know uh, how will you connect properly with these you know attributes then you will classify the particular you know structure and develop the kind of you know clustering through which you can you know analyze the problem so this is a simple look about the a, a dendrograms through which you know clustering can be done with respect to college and university and that too with respect to different attributes so uh, i will take you uh, to a kind of you know softwares and then i will highlight with a problem and then i will uh, show you how the dendrogram can be coming and you know classifying the things or you know the clustering the things as per the particular you know business requirement or the problem requirement so then you know uh, accordingly so uh, this is another kind of you know visualization that means you know we have a flexibility system now if you change certain dynamics in the kind of you know structure then you will get a, you know different kind of you know results then finally we have a plenty of you know different uh, structure or you know models or you know setups then we pick up a particular setup which is very effective for the particular you know problem and the kind of you know um, management requirement so these are all you know data set and uh, uh, through which actually we analyze the problem and then finally we have in this case in the particular you know, analysis we have a four different clusters one two three four depending upon the kind of you know college and university 
and then and the kind of an attributes. So, here in these four clusters, so the first cluster C is having 23 colleges and second cluster is having 22 colleges, third cluster having 3 colleges and fourth cluster is having one college, uh, you know one college. So, that means technically now oh, so far as you know management requirement is concerned and management decision is concerned. So, then you know effective you know effective kind of you know strategy or effective kind of you know policy can be implemented differently instead of you know putting the uh, a general kind of you know strategy or general kind of you know policy. So, in that context you know cluster analysis is at always at a you know highest levels to understand the system and you know predict the kind of you know system as per the particular you know requirement. So, now with this particular you know data, so we have actually this classification, these are you know in the cluster 3, so these are the universities coming and this is what the attributes through which you do the kind of you know classifications. So, we will we, we'll again analyze with you know uh, with a kind of you know softwares and this is another kind of you know uh, examples, this is a credit approval case. Uh, so, uh, credit approved and not approved like you know in the case of a discriminate analysis, logistic regression. So, this is also similar kind of you know structure. So, here so whether credit approved or not approved and that too, uh, that too exclusively depends upon you know several factors and several attributes. So, in this kind of an you know, example we have a several factors here. So, these are all factors the, you know the credit approved yes or no then you know we have several you know factors and through which we have to take the decision. So, that means we have actually data set and then we have to connect a model then after that we can analyze with how is this kind of you know effective structures and that to oh, how, how is the kind of you know decision about the credit approval with respect to all these you know indicators. Okay, so, now, um, uh, now with the help of these particular you know uh, structures we can actually get better insights and to understand the a particular you know technique. So, this is how the you know attributes that to in the independent clusters. Now, having a kind of in you know, a classification structures uh, let us say this is a bar and through which. So, we have a kind of you know uh, means if you specify a particular you know attributes let us say you know here in this case it is a 640 then you know on the basis of that you know a, a, you know uh, you can give a kind of you know uh, structure whether to accept and reject. So, now having the kind of you know bar fixation. So, these are the kind of you know uh, item means data set which are actually uh, approved and uh, the which another group of you know data where it is not approved. That means, it is a kind of you know classifiers you find out a kind of you know uh, kind of you know structure through which the entire you know system will be classified into two different structure and then you will analyze as per the particular you know uh, requirement. So, that means, it is a kind of you know interesting structure through which actually you can develop. So, this is another way of you know classifying, that means, if you change the dynamics of this particular you know systems, then you will find different kind of you know uh, classifiers through which you can understand the data, then predict the environment as per the particular you know business requirement. So, likewise you know uh, this is what uh, this is what you understand the particular you know systems and uh, and then you analyze the problem as per the particular you know requirement. In the classification structure like we have actually discussed in the case of neural network in fact, in the uh, random forest uh, and support vector ma machines. So, every time uh, you, you can be since we have a large data then you know we first pick up you know data develop the model then train the models and then validate and test then finally, fix the kind of you know structure through which you can go for the effective prediction and effective forecasting and then effective management decision. So, it is also same thing here. So, we have here also the training structure, validation structure and testing structures. So, this will give you kind of you know uh, uh, efficient system through which we, we can actually uh, we will be confident that you know the particular you know structure which you develop or particular algorithm which you have developed is very effective for the kind of you know problem and the kind of you know management. So, as a result uh, means these, these are all more or less same and uh, through which actually you can work and then you analyze. So, uh, there is you know hard and fast rule what should be the kind of you know uh, training set and what should be the validation in uh, you know stage like you know we have already highlighted this in the case of you know neural network, random forest and support vector machine. So, anyway, so this is what actually uh, you can actually fix up the particular you know, structure how many data points you can you know put for training how much data point you can put for you know testing, but ultimately we need a you know a efficient structure through which you can actually look for the efficient prediction, efficient forecasting and the kind of you know management requirement. 
and uh, in fact you know same cl classification you know with the particular you know data so now the decision can means the kind of you know model can be different if you again change the particular attribute and then fix the kind of you know range then again it you will find two different you know classification groups where you know it is accepted and the kind of you know uh, rejected so this is again so similar kind of you know structuring and the partic uh, another kind of you know structure is called as you know k means clustering and uh, here uh, it is also more or less same so how you have to uh, develop a system through which you can actually uh, uh, understand the particular you know insights develop a particular you know clustering through which you can analyze the po problem more effectively and develop the kind of you know uh, structure through which you can actually take a kind of you know best management decision so uh, you know in order uh, since we have already discussed two kinds of you know uh, clustering techniques so simple uh, structure then the chemin structures and uh, what i'll do so i'll take you to a kind of you know problem and then i'll highlight how clustering can be done and then what kind of you know insights or uh, we can observe from the data set and in the kind of you know problem then you will find a kind of you know effective system uh, from the uh, data set and the kind of you know variables uh, structure and then we will uh, think about the kind of you know management decision and the kind of you know management re requirement so uh, so what will you do in the in this kind of you know uh, to understand the clustering analysis so i'll take a here the particular problems so here variables used in this particular you know discussion is the state total population and net domestic migration civilian move net international migrations periods of birth periods of death then residential populations uh, uh, you know 60 under 65 and you know above 65 so these are the things uh, you know in the problem basket and we have a big data set and then uh, how you have to actually pick up the particular variable and how you have to clustering then that that needs actually planning and that needs you know efficient kind of you know, understanding and uh, of, of course it is with respect to uh, you know management objectives or you know business objectives so that you know do the kind of you know classification do the kind of you know clustering without true uh, knowing the particular you know hint you may not go for you know proper classification or pro, uh, you know kind of you know proper clustering so obviously a, a, you know having uh, you know a, a large data set and having you know uh, you know uh, information about all kinds of you know variables to this particular problem to analyze the problem so then you think about to you know what kind of you know technique and what kind of you know structure or what kind of you know algorithm you have to develop so that you know the particular you know uh, system can be very effective for the kind of you know prediction and the kind of you know management requirement so in order to understand so what i'll do with respect to this particular problem so this is the original data set and uh, so then we'll go for the kind of you know, analysis uh, with respect to uh, both the clustering techniques so in uh, in order to understand so i'll take you to the kind of you know, excel sheet so the same data here so you will find so this is a large data set and uh, having actually uh, you know uh, you know plenty of you know information so, so whatever i have already highlighted here uh, this particular you know structure so the same data pool here so i am actually uh, uh, taking it to the excel sheet and then you go to the excel start the same same actually softwares you can use in fact this can be also done through r software but clustering technique is actually very useful tool and uh, most of the softwares is having this particular you know uh, um, module and once you understand then you know you whether you use r software or you know you use excel start or use spss or start type you know, there is you no know, such kind of you know you know problem uh, because it's a uh, the uh, indication is more or less same and the outcome uh, through any software you will derive is also more or less same just you understand the kind of you know structure then on the understand the problem then the software will help you to get the result so that you know we can uh, analyze the problem more uh, you know effectively and then you think about the kind of you know management decision as per the particular you know business requirement or the kind of you know problem requirement so now understanding the particular you know problem so what will you do here so in the kind of you know clustering analysis because we have a plenty of you know techniques same problems can be used by different techniques and then analyze as per the particular you know requirement but since we are restricted in this particular you know class we are you know our discussion is more or less on clustering analysis so we like to analyze this problem through clustering analysis 
and what we have already discussed that in the in this particular class we have discussed two different clustering techniques one is called as you know agglomerative hierarchical clustering and then k means clustering so let us start with the first you know k means clustering and for that we can click yes and then uh, uh, the input box will be coming like this so now it is actually clean so what will you do so you just indicate how you can do the clustering with respect to all these attributes so what will you do so you just indicate the kind of you know variable c2 o is these are the variables which you have given the kind of you know indications and then in the uh, raw variables also we can clean and give the kind of you know indications in the uh, raw variables we will give the kind of you know uh, state indications so that you know the clustering will be done on the basis of you know state and these are the attributes through which you do the kind of you know clusterings like which you have already uh, highlighted uh, with you know with two different examples that is with respect to college and university and the kind of you know credit approval yes and no situation here so here also same things and after giving all the you know indications so this is how the kind of you know management objective once you understand the problem uh, you know uh, fixing the kind of you no know, objective having the data and having the variable information just you have to connect how uh, as per your you know particular requirement so that means you need a complete planning uh, before you come to the softwares and then uh, because software will only give you the output through which you can analyze the problem and think about the prediction and think about the kind of you know uh, insights but uh, ultimately the planning and the structure which we need to actually operate so now after putting all these things you just put okay and then continue so this is how the a k-means clustering result is coming. So, as usual, so every techniques you can get a summary statistic that is, you know, descriptive statistic. That is how descriptive analytics is, descriptive analytics is the first priority to understand before you go to the predictive analytics and prescriptive analytics. And uh, in fact, in this case, we have a lots of, you know, these are all basic statistics and this is how the uh, kind of, you know, optimization summary and uh, in the statistic of you know each iteration these are all you know and uh, k means clustering different class and different iterations and then again we will have actually some kind of you know uh, statistics about the a uh, clustering so this is how the indication through which you know the iteration can be stopped because you know the, uh, once you start like that you know clustering can be done done so now on the graphically if you find you know the particular structure is coming like this so then th that will uh, give you the signal that you know your clustering is you know done and, and that too that is actually effective kind of you know structures once you find all these things then this is how the kind of you know uh, summary sheet about the validations and within the class between the class and uh, within the class 75 percent uh, 76 percent then this is 24 percent and again so we have a lots of you know uh, classifications with respect to different uh, attributes so th these are all various class classification in fact from this results you can uh, just guess that you know manually it is very difficult to done this kind of you know, clustering and this kind of you know, classification until unless you connect with a particular software and you know understand the particular you know technique and uh, this is how distance between the class centers and finally and these are all different clustering with respect to different attributes and uh, by the way uh, uh, yes, you will find plenty of you know clustering like this you know with respect to particular you know problem uh, and uh, the kind of you know the kind of you know cities and uh, with you know different attributes like this you know this is the class and then this is how the centroid and uh, uh, so of course you know um, that means technically so this this is how the effective clustering can be uh, you know having to understand the problem and to understand the structure through which you know uh, analyze the problem slide ok so what will you do so these are the results through which actually you are getting through k means clustering so that means uh, different iterations and different you know training structure you develop then finally you pick up a particular structure through which you can actually have a better clustering as per the particular requirement and then go for the kind of you know prediction and the kind of you know management decision again the same problems can be also analyzed through the other uh, you know uh, different techniques and that to uh, the kind of you know structure which you have discussed called as you know dendrogram and the kind of you know Euclidean distance let us go for the particular you know data set again so this is the original data set again you can go to the excel start data analysis and then uh, this will be coming under analyzing data 
and we have already solved this problem through k-means clustering. Now, we can analyze this problem through other mechanism that is agglomerative hierarchical clustering. So, that means, we have discussed k-means clustering and hierarchical clustering. The k-means clustering is actually it is a very a different kind of you know, clustering through different iterations and then finally, three, three j kind of you know, structure through which you can get the better structure or better prediction. And again uh, the same structure here. So, we are in giving the kind of you know, indication about the variable, uh, same the kind of you know, attributes which you have already highlighted here and then you just put ok and again continue you will get you know a similar kind of you know, results like you know previous case we have here also. <coughs> same descriptive statistics. So, in the descriptive statistics, so these are all various kind of you know structure in a summary sheet and then the more interesting part of this particular you know hierarchical clustering is the kind of you know label bar chart and then the kind of you know dendrogram see here. This is a actually the kind of you know structure through which you can actually clustering the kind of you know on data get understand the insights and build a kind of you know classification through which you can do the prediction. So, that means, you know uh, it is a kind of you know uh, the particular technique is a kind of you know effective tools through which you know uh, you can you know better understand the data and visualize the data and then uh, have a kind of you know cluster. So, that you know the management problem can be analyzed more effectively as per the business requirement and the kind of you know problem requirement and do the predictions and do the kind of you know effective management decision. So, that is why it means it is very easy to get ok. So, this is a dendrogram another look and uh, these are all uh, like this is also coming under you know k-means clustering. So, this is how the validation about the means various de variance decomposition that is called as you know a robustness of you know this particular you know results uh, and uh, then finally, uh, the, there are different you know class and then these are all uh, with respect to different attributes and it is more or less same like you know the k-means clustering, but uh, in the hierarchical clustering one of the most important thing is the kind of you know uh, the graphical structure to understand the particular you know link and the kind of you know clustering that is the, the dendrogram and uh, then uh, accordingly we can understand this is what the distance between that is the equilibrium uh, you know distance which is actually since we have actually 5 different uh, class. So, we have uh, actually the kind of you know matrix here 5 into 5 and obviously 1 to 1. So, the distance will be 0 then 2 to 2 obviously the, uh, the distance will be 0 again 3 to 3 distance. So, as a result all the diagonal elements will be having actually a 0 uh, figures and others depends upon how the distance is coming actually to a particular you know uh, point. So, these are all central objects. Uh, and that two with different attributes against so, and distance between the central objects against so, the particular you know diagonal elements will be 0 uh, as per the Euclidean distance measures. And these are all various clusters uh, class wise and that two with you know all the descriptive statistic. These are all class wise uh, uh, descriptive statistic and then you can get bet better to understand. Now, you see here in the third class we have actually sufficient number of uh, you know kind of you know data points and then the observations and other results you can actually this is more su you know summary statistic. So, that means, it is more interesting is the kind of this is this is the kind of you know classification through which actually uh, you know clustering uh, is done and the kind of you know analysis is actually done and accordingly. So, this is what uh, the kind of you know structure and what we have already discussed this is how the graphical understanding about the a, a, you know validations to uh, to justify that you know this is what the effective uh, clustering through which you can do the kind of you know uh, you know understand the particular you know problem and uh, do the kind of you know prediction as per the particular you know business requirement and problem. So, these are the results which you have already seen from the ex, uh, you know uh, spreadsheet and uh, and I am just bringing to highlight uh, this these are the results through which you know the problem can be uh, analyzed and uh, can be you know understand uh, you can understand better and through this particular you know clustering and that to through k-means clustering and through the kind of you know uh, the kind of you know, hierarchical clustering and corresponding to the kind of you know uh, class classification uh, means uh, clustering techniques like k-means clustering and hi uh, you know hierarchical clustering. So, uh, there are also some of the classification techniques under the data mining which can also be very effective 
uh, you know through which you can you know understand the problems get the insights and do the kind of you know prediction and forecasting so what i have mentioned earlier the kind of you know discriminant analysis it's like you know linear probability model or binary choice model so where l is the kind of you know classifiers uh, you know that discriminates the between you know two different groups subject to different attributes so like you know this is the kind of you know case uh, and then uh, similarly uh, similarly so we can have here okay so this is how the kind of you know structuring and uh, then uh, you can understand the particular you know structure and uh, with the basis of you know this particular you know discriminant analysis and the same and uh, the kind of you know a credit decision which you have discussed in the case of you know clustering analysis so that means it will give you two different you know k structure through which you can understand the particular you know requirement and uh, as a result so we have two different models for you know yes situation and uh, for no situation that means it will it, it will classify into two different groups with respect to the particular you know indicator so this is another kind of you know effective tools in the data mining through which you can understand the problem get the insights they go for the kind of you know, effective predictions and the kind of you know, management decision uh, like the kind of you know, clustering then the kind of you know, discriminant analysis so we have the kind of you know, logistic structure which uh, which we have already discussed in a separate lecture and that to in the uh, it's a qualitative response structure through which we can we have actually three different models to do the kind of you know uh, means to understand the kind of you know, structure, connect the kind of you know, model through which you can do the better visualization. So, either you can cho uh, choose the binary choice models or logit models or the kind of you know, probit model followed by you know, normal distribution function and then you come with a kind of you know, system through which you can uh, create a kind of you know, setup and do the better prediction and better kind of you know, management decision. So, this is a simple simpler structure of you know, logistic regression which we have already discussed and uh, as again so these are all attributes and then the particular dependent variable structure will be classifiers through which you can actually have a different kind of you know understanding as per the particular you know problem and then get the insights as per the need. So, again so uh, in the data mining we have actually association uh, structure through which you can understand the particular you know, systems of course we have already gone through you know like you know covariance and you know class, uh, cl you know correlations and these are the tools also can be used in the data mining to understand the particular you know problems get the insights and then create a structure through which you can do effective predictions and effective kind of you know forecasting and that to uh, as per the particular you know uh, you know problems need and the kind of you know management needs so that means we have association rules and this is a simple examples through which you can actually develop a kind of you know uh, structures association structures that means you know we have done through clustering we have done through classifications again we can do analyze this problem through association technique then you uh, develop a system through which you can do the effective predictions and effective a forecasting so this is a simple example to understand against to uh, you know problems and uh, and uh, these are all association structures and uh, again so there is a kind of you know cause and effective modeling which uh, in fact the uh, logistic structures and binary choice model itself is a cause and effective modeling but uh, here also uh, there are different shapes of you know causality models are there through which you actually you can uh, uh, understand the particular you know problem and again observe the better insights and then think about the kind of you know predict prediction structures and the kind of you know uh, management requirement so that means technically uh, uh, what we have say, you know mentioned uh, uh, we have actually plenty of you know uh, structure through which actually uh, understand the problem get uh, uh, insights then you know think about the final setup through which you can do the effective structure and do the kind of you know prediction and forecasting as per the particular you know business requirement and the kind of you know management requirement. So, that means actually data mining is a kind of you know systems we have actually a n number of you know tools are there so, uh, analytics tools are there starting with in a simple classification clustering then the kind of you know association cause and effect models 
and uh, depending upon a particular you know problem uh, structures the kind of you know data structures then the kind of you know understanding the kind of you know business objectives or management objectives so you pick up a particular you know tools and then uh, analyze the a particular you know problems then you know get the better insights and then develop the system exactly as per the particular you know business requirement and you know management for instance in the cause and effective model and this is how the simple uh, uh, example and where the customer satisfaction is the kind of you know uh, major effect and then this is derived through job job satisfaction training and skill improvement satisfaction with the supervisor employee satisfaction so that means in this particular case the most important thing is how to develop the particular you know structure and then uh, data will help you to verify the particular you know structure and then uh, we can actually validate and then use this particular model for the prediction and you know forecasting or as per the particular you know management requirement again with the data so we can have here the kind of an you know, outcome and these are all correlation output through which you know because we are discussing the cause and effect and the association through which you can do the kind of you know better prediction now with the data what we have observed here the correlation coefficients are very high as a result so the uh, particular models uh, uh, you know for this particular you know problem is very effective for the kind of you know management requirement so likewise you can actually think about the particular problems check the data structure uh, you know pick up a particular technique and then develop the system which can be very effective as per the particular you know uh, problem requirement or you know management requirement with this we will stop here thank you very much have a nice day